we see that obese, sedentary individuals who had to lose weight rapidly for surgery, they're put on a fasting type program to lose weight quickly in order to survive surgery. And unfortunately, a lot of the times we look at clinical research and it gets transposed over to health and fitness without actually asking if it's viable. So then we look at a lot of women used to come with their partners to see me and say, I don't understand. We're both doing the same kind of fasted training. He's leaning up and getting fitter. I'm putting weight on and getting slower. And I go, okay, well, we have to separate it out, right? If you're a woman and you want to fast for all the health reasons to telomere length, improving longevity, improving our body's metabolic control, then we work with our circadian rhythm where we don't eat two to three hours before bed. We have the overnight fast. And then you want to have food within a half an hour of waking up to blunt that cortisol peak. For men, you can have variations of fasting and you can still have benefit. But for women, if we were to do warrior fast, which is a 20 hour fast, four hour eating window. For men, we see more focus. They have better blood glucose control, acceleration of body fat loss. Their body is able to transfer between carbohydrate and fat utilization. For women who do a warrior fast, they end up with less blood sugar control, higher resting blood glucose, more fat storage, more sympathetic drive. So that means the body's under stress and you're not going to be able to sleep or recover well. And we see a downturn of the thyroid within four days of doing this. So when we're looking at the data of fasting, again, it's pulling from the men and generalizing to the women. But when we start really looking and narrowing it down and looking at female specific data, the type of fasting that's out there in the health and fitness world is not appropriate for women.